In this video, we're going to be using K Shaveworks Lime Me Plum Crazy and the Gillette Super Speed. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, folks, we are back and welcome in, welcome in. As mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using K-Shave Works and this is Limey Plum Crazy. And the cost doesn't matter because K-Shave Works is no longer in business, sadly. The scent on this, very, very nice. I'm gonna put the scent description for you on the screen right there. If you can find this on the secondhand market, it is very nice and bright, lime, plum, white musk, and sweet vanilla. Great scent, I like it a lot. I'll go ahead and put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. Again, this is a vegan soap and we look forward to using it again. And keep in mind, K-Shave Works no longer in business, but I think the razor company still has some K-Shave Works soap, so I'll link that below for you if you are interested. The razor for today is the Vintage Gillette Super Speed Black Handled Razor, and this one dates back to, I believe, around 1971, and we look forward to having a nice, mild shave with that today. Let's get going, and we'll start off by misting the face in this just plain water. And remember, folks, I link all the products I use below if you are curious, and there we go. Plenty of misting action there. Today's brush is the Razor Rock 400. Really nice scent on this soap. I got a nice lather. I had to work it a little bit because this uh, brand tend to be a little bit fluffy when you first started lathering it, but if you keep adding hydration, it got pretty nice. So the lather here is gonna be fine. We should have no problems whatsoever with that. And we should have no problems with the shave today, generally, we hope. Now, I haven't seen this yet because I just got up, but I know Kim Gray was I uh, sent me a message uh, last night about Andre from Lancaster Razor Works doing some sort of fundraiser and I haven't seen any of the details yet because I'm just getting up and shaving but um, I do suggest that you follow um, Lancaster Razor Works on Instagram and see what that fundraiser is and I'll plug it again once I have a chance to actually look at it. He is from Ukraine. And he's raising money. His family's still in Ukraine, like I mentioned yesterday. And you might know Andre from the beautiful Lancaster towels and the brushes and the brush shaving mug I have here. Really great guy. And so when I get the details on that, I will pass those along to you. He's doing some sort of uh, fundraiser, I think, to help people of Ukraine, which is quite noble. And if you're interested, make sure you follow Andre on uh, Instagram and you'll be able to see that information there. All right, let me cut this back down here and then we'll get into the shave today. Rinse the hand off. Hope you folks are all doing well today. I'm hoping to have a great day. Of course, that's the way I start off every day. Try to start it off with a great shave and try to have a great day. The blade in here is Gillette Nasset. It's pretty much what I use exclusively. Now I just really like the way it works in every razor I own. And so I just sort of standardize on the Nasset. It's just easier just to use a blade that you know what to expect. You know it's gonna be sharp. You know it's gonna be smoother, at least it is for me. Keep in mind folks, blade preference, highly, highly subjective. So when you see top blade lists and so forth, which I can certainly do, it's really subjective. And you may say, that blade stinks, I don't like it at all. And you'd be right if you don't like it because you know, no one can doubt what your experience is. But for me, the Nasset has the best combination of smoothness, sharpness, also with the cost being good, and that's important. <clears throat> Again, things tightening up, you gotta really look at the cost. And this is a good blade. It's got a very reasonable cost. Usually on Amazon, they're between, somewhere between 11 and $13 for 100, which is not bad at all. And I tell you what, that first pass, feeling very nice and very smooth. It's exactly what I expected. These old super speed razors are, they are mild, but they'll get the job done. And you can find these on eBay or Etsy, places like that. Don't overpay 
for the super speeds. Um, just keep looking. If you see one that's crazy expensive, just keep looking and you'll find a user grade that is reasonable. All right, very nice. First pass, excellent. And honestly, no quality problems with the K Shave Works soap at all. That was a really nice first pass. All right, let's get into our second pass here. And again, I hope everyone's having a beautiful day thus far. We did get pretty good, pretty good nice lather there too. I'll tell you what, some of these older soap formulas, they still hold up quite well in my opinion. Again, the only thing that I would point to is maybe being, maybe they haven't kept pace with skin conditioning. If you believe that soaps actually condition your skin, and a lot of people do. And if you do, I'm not gonna argue with you on that point. But honestly, most of the soap gets washed down the drain, so when you're thinking about soaps, um, keep that in mind. Most of the products getting washed down the drain. One of the viewers mentioned that yesterday and he's absolutely right. So for me, I like to use good soaps, of course, but I find that most of the reputable soaps are quite good and plenty good enough to get an outstanding shave. And then I've always felt, and I mentioned this from time to time, if you want to achieve a really good post-shave conditioning, buy a product designed for post shave that you put on and stay and that you put on your face and it stays on your face so for example the soap is on your face for a very short time you rinse it off it's not going to do probably that much in reality whereas if you have a nice balm or skin conditioner or skin elixir or whatever um, you put it on there and it stays on there and absorbs into the skin and it's meant to be skin nourishing and so on and so forth, that's probably gonna be more effective in my opinion. But again, a lot of people disagree with that and that's entirely okay. But for me, just about all the reputable soaps are more than adequate, more than adequate. And most of them are quite good, honestly. So you can pretty much take your pick. Just about any soap that you see popping up in the shave of the days and videos and whatnot a lot, it's gonna be good quality, so. We don't really have to worry about soap quality too much these days. 10 years ago, we did. Because if you were to go and say, look at some brands on Etsy, which you could still do that today. You could probably still find a soap or two that's maybe not up to snuff on Etsy. But um, back in the day, you could find soaps that wouldn't lather and they were just a mess. Today, it's kind of hard to find one that you know, isn't very good because everybody's really up their game. And that's a testament to the to the artisans and the way they do things. And also the mass-produced soap, they've always been good. It's rare that you have mass-produced soaps that won't lather well. Um, of course, there's always been a Mitchell's Wool Fat, which some people struggle with lathering, and Williams Mug Soap, which a lot of people struggle with lathering, <laughs> that are exceptions there. But a lot of people have great success with those soaps as well. So. Keep that in mind. Man, that second pass was really, really nice as well. Gotta say, the old Super Speed from 1971. Really nice mild shaver and we'll lather up and do a third cross pass here. And this has just been a nice, pleasant shave. And the folks at K-Shave Works were always nice, nice people. Towards the end, they were making soaps only for the the vendors, they weren't selling directly. So they weren't spending a lot of time really making soaps anyway. And uh, they moved on in their careers and sort of closed up shop. But you never know, folks may come back. You know, for them, it looked like they did not intend to come back, but never say never. Because we've seen a lot of people go out of business and come back or just stop making soaps for a time. I tell you the one that I would really like to see come back, Mickey Lee Soap Works. I would really love to see Mickey Lee come back because they made phenomenal soaps with phenomenal scents. And Samantha that made those soaps, terrific person, very talented. Still see her on Facebook, making stuff, doing stuff, exercising. She's a really, really fantastic person. And I would love to see them making soaps again. So if you agree, comment below that you'd love to see Mickey Lee back because they had amazing soaps and uh, it was fun using Mickey Lee, Mickey Lee, excuse me, products. Oh yeah, very, very nice. Really nice, smooth, easy going shave. And this is the way I like to start out my day with just a outstanding shave that just gets everything going 
the right way. Got to shake off some of that water because I've got so much water drain, draining down from the razor there. Oh yeah, that is outstanding. Really, really smooth. Really nice. And again, no quality problems whatsoever. There's plenty of slickness. Cushion, glide, whatever you want. It's in this soap. So if you see it on the second hand market and you like, um, the predominant note in this is plum, which I like a lot. But it's overall sweet and it's very nice. Very nice indeed. I like it a lot. And so I've definitely enjoyed using it today. I've had this in a sample jar for probably three or four months. <laughs> I made up a bunch of samples when I first started coming down here to help my mom or actually it's been longer probably this probably been sitting around six months maybe and I put a lot of soaps in sample jars and I have them in a box and I'm just getting around to using some of them because we've had so much so many other soaps coming in but I have to say that will slow a little bit now that costs are escalating and uh, you know just because we all have less money to spend that's just the way it goes so you definitely have to be more selective, but that is okay. We've probably already got enough stuff to last, last a lifetime, so it's no big deal, really. All right, that is nice. Just doing a little touch up here because I find with milder razors, I do have to do a little more touching up to get to the same level, but you can get there. You can get there, you just have to Hit those spots you might have missed. And that was a, really a superb shave. So stand by and then we'll come back and get into the post. And all right, we are back and off cam we did a rinse to get rid of the soap and then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no stinging. So super smooth shave. No nicks, guts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Wishes, Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with K Shave Works Limey Plum Crazy. Again, K Shave Works is no longer in business, but some soaps are available still at the Razor Company, and I'll link that below for you. But we had an excellent shave with it today, as well as with the Gillette Super Speed Black Handled Razor. And again, it is a twist to open. I don't think I showed you that in the beginning, and it has a Nasset blade in there. Very nice indeed. We used our Razor Off 400 brush and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And don't forget, please check out uh, Lancaster Razor Works' uh, Instagram account, which I will link below for information on that fundraiser. Again, I haven't seen it yet, but I will see it and I will provide more information um, once I get a chance to look at it. Thank you so much for joining me today. We will see it out with a little bit of the wet the face, the quiet man, complete with the floaties. I'll put that on after I hit the stop button here, but thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, sure shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.